When working in Vue 3 and the Composition API, we have two different ways to create reactive data, reactive and ref. And a common misconception is that we want to use ref for primitives and reactive for objects. In this video, we're going to take a look at why this isn't necessarily the case. So first off, I want to start off by saying that it is true that if we want to create a reactive value with a primitive, we have to use ref. But if we want to create a reactive object, we can use either ref or reactive. So to understand what's happening, let's take a closer look at each one of these methods. Let's start off with ref. ref takes an inner value and returns a reactive immutable ref object with a singular property value that gives us access to our inner value. So to use it, we have to import ref, and we can say const message equals ref, and then inside pass it our default value. Then if we want to access this value, we have to say message.value, and we can change it by also accessing this value property. Behind the scenes, our refs are using reactive, and when we run reactive and pass it an object, it returns a proxy. So while we can access the proxy's properties just like we would in the object we pass, it is not equal to the original object. And there's a ton of cool ways that ref and reactive can play well together. For example, we can pass a ref into reactive, and Vue will automatically unwrap it, creating a link between our ref and our reactive property. This means that we can change this value from either our ref or our reactive, and the other one will also update. But like I was saying before, if we want to create a reactive object, we can use either ref or reactive. So let's take a look at some equivalent code. Let's import ref and reactive from view, and let's first create our reactive object by saying const reactive state equals reactive, and we'll give it a message of hello world. To see what we're getting, let's console.log reactive state. Then let's take a look at the equivalent code using ref. We'll say const ref state equals ref and use that same object of message hello world. If we console.log ref state dot value, we'll see that it's equal to our reactive state. Since these are both proxies, we can call a lot of the view helper methods, such as read only, which returns a read only proxy, two refs to convert our object into multiple reactive refs, and anything that we would do to our normal reactive object. So then you may be asking, when would I want to use reactive? And this next part is 100% my own opinion, and I'd love to hear your thoughts down below, but I found myself using ref everywhere in my Vue 3 projects. And while you think this may be annoying to always call the value whenever we're accessing a ref, I think that this is one of the reasons I like using ref. It makes it very clear when I'm working with reactive data as opposed to just a normal JavaScript object. But as most things programming, it ultimately comes down to your personal preference or your team's preferences. I'd love to hear how you guys are using ref and reactive in your projects. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more view content.